Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review and today's review is going to be on Legacy Bomb Burst and Core Class Soundwave Now, just before I start this video, I just want to apologize for no recent videos lately It's just that I haven't had any new Transformers to review lately However, I do have most of Legacy Wave 3 uh, on the way, and I do have Studio Series Sideways uh, coming as well, so expect reviews on them when they uh, get them. Well, for these two, well, these are the core class figures for Wave 3. And well, in fact, before Wave 1 was actually shown, there were rumors that Skullgrin was going to be a core class figure. But of course, he turned out to be a deluxe class figure, and the Energon monsters, well, they were pretty much just codenames for the Legacy Pretenders. So, yeah. Now, taking a, a look at the packaging for these two. I still dropped a box of Soundwave. But well, of course, we've got the standard core class packaging for Legacy. So at the top, we pretty much just got pictures of their alternate modes. Got their names right there. The windowless packaging, which if you saw my recent shorts, you know that's probably going to be an issue. The side, we've got a picture of their robot modes. The back, we've got them in both modes. And this side we've got the standard legacy artwork with all the Decepticons. So yeah. Now taking a look at these two, let's start off with Bomb Bursts. Now Bomb Burst transforms into pretty much what his inner robot transformed into back in the G1 days. So it's some sort of VTOL aircraft and even though the camera shows there's some sort of well, well the camera shows there's some sort of uh, dark blue it's not this dark in person well I, I do kind of prefer the shade that the camera is uh, showing it as now you can pretty much see bits of the Robot like the hands here. See some screws there. The underneath, you can pretty much just see how it transforms. <laughs> but yeah, not really much to say. Although I do kind of like the idea of uh, having the vehicle mode of the inner robot, but the robot mode be the actual shell. I do like that idea. I just wonder how they do it with the Autobot Pretenders, because, you know, they have, like, the, uh, robot speed. <laughs> like, they, they'd have to make the robot mode be, like, the human or something. I don't know. They're probably just going to do, like, the Decepticon Pretenders. Now, for accessories, we just get this weapon, which, I don't know, looks like a, a wrench or something. Well, it's, like a, it's probably meant to be, like, a, a scythe weapon. And for storage, well, you're meant to just clip this underneath the uh, jet, like so. So you got this going on. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it for Bomb Best's vehicle mode. Overall, I quite like it. <laughs> Nice and simple. I kind of like the de the details on the wings here. So yeah. Well, moving on to Soundwave. Well, this is pretty much just a, a re-release of a Kingdom Core Class Soundwave. Although yeah, I never got that figure, so this is my first experience with it. Now, of course, if you know this figure. His vehicle mode has these uh, weird 
I guess, cat ears. And yeah, that, yeah that's meant, that is how it's meant to be transformed, though. So suppose if you don't like that, you can mistransform it so it looks more uh, standard. Even though it does have these bits sticking out now. Back, of course, we just have the standard arm sticking out, but that is a st standard for sound wave, so I'm not complaining there. Of course, we've got the standard uh, cassette door, which I could just open up, and we got this little laser beak. I mean, it doesn't transform, but the inclusion is still uh, really nice, even though. As I did mention in the recent short I uploaded, you could be easily stolen in uh, the in shops. Just got the little button here, which unfortunately doesn't work. You have to open this manually. And yeah, that's basically it for the cassette player mode. So for accessories. Of course, we get the Soundwave standard accessories. So there's a little uh, missile launcher here, which of course doesn't fire, and his little and his little shoulder cannon. And of course, they store like how the recent Netflix Soundwave stores his weapons. If I can actually find the port, it's easy to do this close up. So if you just excuse me a couple of seconds, there we go. So yeah, he stores his weapons like how Netflix Soundwave does, like, like so. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say about the alternate modes for these two. I, I do want to say vehicle mode, but yeah, this guy's not really a vehicle. I mean, well, you could maybe like fake seat someone's alternate mode, but I'm... I'm not going to do that. So yeah. Now just before getting into the transformations. Here's Bombas next to fellow core class pretender Iguanas. I'm holding it up because yeah, he can't really stand that well. As you can see. But this does get me hyped to see if we're going to get any more uh, pretenders in this style. Like maybe Bugly. Submarauder, maybe. And with Soundwave, here he is with the two other Soundwaves I have in my collection. Well, from the recent War for Cybertron slash a uh, uh, Legacy collection. So here we have Siege Soundwave, or in this case, the recent. Legacy be released because he doesn't have to battle damage, and here he is with Netflix Soundwave, which is unfortunately starting to yellow. And one thing I I noticed with this guy's QR code bio, it pretty much just reuses this guy's uh, bio, with the QR code thing. How do I know that? It says that this guy turns into a. Into a Cybertronian spacecraft, which this guy turns into. Don't believe me? Well, if you have this guy, then uh, scan the QR code and uh, you'll uh, find out. I should have, I should have shown the QR code, but oh well, it's too late. It's too late now. Let's just get onto the transformation. In fact, let's actually sh uh, compare the uh, laser beaks first. So yeah, here are the two laser beaks. This guy's pretty much just a, a slight retool of Siege laser beak. Whereas this guy's, well, he, he doesn't transform, but he looks more like an actual like, cassette tape. Whereas this guy's just a folded up rectangle. So yeah.
Now, to get these two transformed, of course, let's just start off with Bombast. So, to get this guy transformed, it's actually quite simple. So, we're just going to untap the legs, straighten them out, turn the waist around, get the, open up the feet, like so. Then get the, uh, then get the nose cone out, like so. Spin around the wings. And there you go. Or if you want to, you can just remove these if you want. Yeah, you can do a couple of things with these uh, little uh, wing uh, weapons. Which I'll show uh, later. And of course, to get Soundwave transformed, well, if you've seen the Kingdom version of the figure, you know how this guy transforms. So I'm just going to remove the weapons, which I forgot to, to do off camera. Move these little bits up. Get the legs down. I mean, it's the, come on, it's the it's basically just how Soundwave normally transforms. You see? Yeah, it's basically just get the get the legs down, get the arms out, get the head up, and spin it. Up. And spin it around, you see? So. So he here we have these two, well, uh, sans weapons, in robot mode. And they actually look quite good together. Even though uh, one's sound wave and one's a uh, weird vampire monster that you'd see in Castlevania. Now, taking a look at Bombast, uh, first of all, he's very clearly based on the Pretender Shell. Yeah, just with a bit of the kibble from his uh, inner robot's vehicle mode on the back. But the rest is very clearly based on the, uh, on the Pretender Shell. Just like how Iguanus was based on the Pretender Shell. And even though I don't have Skullgrin yet, once again, he's based on the Pretender Shell. Oh, oh wait, did I say Iguanas or Skullgrin? Yeah, never mind, but... Now, taking a, a, a look at the head... Now, <laughs> that's definitely a monstrous head. Once again, accurate to the Pretender Shell. Well, unfortunately, don't think the mouth can open. If it was like at the same deluxe price point that Skullgrain is at, maybe, but... Yeah, I wouldn't expect such a, at a core price point. Now, for weapons... Well, of course, we've got these, which... As you saw, can just stay on his arms if you want. I mean, that's how the box shows him. However, I, I don't think I've done this yet, but these can actually go into his. Well, these can actually plug into his backpack somehow. Yeah, I've not really done this before. There's other reviewers that have shown this, so it's best to watch them instead of watching me trying to struggle to do it, because I normally just have these go onto his arms. Yeah. 
one. Yeah, that's good advice. Watch another review if... Yeah. <laughs> no wonder I don't get many views. But, oh well. I'm more do this for fun anyway. But, well, of course, you can also give him his uh, little uh, scythe or wrench weapon, I guess. It's probably based on a, a, a weapon that the G1 toy had, I can't remember. I, I don't have the original G1 figure. But yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Bomb Bursts. Well, his, his weapons, at least, I forgot to show his uh, pose ability. So I can just take that off. So yeah, like his head can go side to side, although not fully because <clears throat> oh my throat just yeah, stopped working. Yeah, you can't do a full three sixty because his his nose gets in the way. His arms can of course uh, move. He can T pose. He's got a waist joint. Elbows, which can swivel. Legs can go forward that far, back that far. He's got a knee joint. Has got a swiveled out of It's quite tight. His feet can close up due to the transformation. And he's actually got an ankle pivot on a core class figure. Now that's amazing. I know Iguana's had it too, but that was like for transformation. Like, this guy has it for the sake of having it. That's just amazing. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Bomb Burst. And well, for Soundwave, of course, this guy's pretty much just the same as the Kingdom version, but as I said, I don't have the Kingdom version. Okay, if I could just find his weapons. So yeah, if you're looking for a good legend sound wave, I think this guy's actually quite decent. I mean, like even the kibble on the back's uh, accurate to sound wave. The head, once again, really accurate. If we just uh, give him his accessories. And of course, we've got the little laser beak, which, as I keep mentioning, thanks to the open window in his box, you can just easily take a laser beak from. As I did mention in my uh, short that I recently uploaded. But yeah, let's not uh, rant about that. I mean, if they... Of course, laser beak doesn't transform, but come on, this guy's <laughs> this guy's like just a tiny bit bigger than my thumbnail. So there's no way to be able to make him transform. Although I think there is like a, a very tiny ravage figure that can transform, but still. <laughs> I think, like, the the choice to make Laser Week not transform is a good one. Now, one thing I noticed... I think they gave me two left hips by accident. Yeah, just a bit of crappy QC there. Oh, well... At least the figure still stands fine, and it's sort of hit by the by the hip skirt there. But well, let's just move on to the posability. Of course, Salif can move his head. This can sort of get in the way, though. He can move his head. He can sort of look up. Of course, he can move his arms. He can sort of T-pose, although not as much as Bombas can. He can... He can move his elbows. He can swivel them. He can move his 
hands down like that. Fortunately, there's no waist level, but... Oh, wow, well, that speaks right to another the core figure. If anything, Bombas only had it due to their transformation, so... This can go up so he can kick forward. Can't really kick back that far. He's got knees. Did a split, which I forgot to mention. Bombas can also do that. He can sort of break his knee. Well, he doesn't have ankle pivots. He can sort of do this with his foot. And his foot can swivel. And do that. So if you'll just excuse me while I try to reattach this. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say about these two. So. And in fact, just before we finish this off, let's do some robot mode comparisons. So, here we have Bombus with Iguanus. So, so you can see how they sort of blend the, uh, the pretender shell at the end of Robot, which I think looks really cool. And here we have Soundwave with, I guess, his, his parents, if I can understand. And I'm actually going to have to raise the camera for this. And yeah, I'm not going to compare the laser beast because, remember, this guy's laser beak doesn't transform. Yeah, like, comparing the actual sizes, this guy comes up to about, like, the shin of this guy, if I... Yeah, I don't know, like, t terminology, but... This guy comes up, up to about the hip of Netflix Soundwave. So, yeah, this guy's about half the size. But, yeah... That's pretty much all I have to say about these two. So, complaints. Well, with Soundwave, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining how he's pretty much just a repackage of uh, Kingdom Core Quest Soundwave because, well, Legacy's got a lot of uh, repackages. So, plus, I don't really mind him. It gives you an another chance to get a figure that you missed out on. Actual complaints. The, the box for this guy. Just watch my short on this guy. Like, just watch my... Every, just watch my short. That's all I'm going to say. But complaints for the actual figures themselves. Well, I think Bombest is a really good figure. But for Soundwave... Well... Well, his feet can his feet can you know, come off quite easily. I've noticed. I'm not sure if it's like mold degradation or what. I also found out that if you have the tray open, at least the just falls out. I'm not sure if that's also the case with the Netflix version. No, it's not. You see. Yeah, like, laser beak in the Netflix Soundwave mold actually stays in, even if it's open. I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's like a smaller figure, but... I'm just worried in case I lose this uh, accessory one day. I also found that on Bombast, this backpack can actually come off. And I found that I found that out the hard way, so just be careful in case you uh, pop a, a bit off by accident. But well, do I recommend these two? Well, Bombus definitely. This is a really fun figure, and well, he's definitely one of my favorites when it comes to the core class. I mean, 
I just love how his robot mode looks. He's got a fun but simple transformation, and, well, he just looks really cool. As for Soundwave, well, he is just a repackage, so you might already have him, but if you don't, then this is a really uh, good figure, so if you don't have this guy already, then definitely do get him, because, I mean, come on, it's Soundwave. So yeah, this has been my review on Legacy, Core Class, Soundwave, and Bombburst. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.